Well, one Colts superfan can usually be found at games dressing up as a famous former Colts coach. Now he's turning his talents to sports figurines. As CBS4's Mike Sullivan tells us, that hobby is starting to make him some cash. Looks may be deceiving. Naheem Hines was originally Reggie Bush. But make no mistake, what you see here is an art form. That's probably about average, four hours. Albeit an unexpected one for Mike Bostic. I get to come down here and it's quiet and... He is often seen as Cloney Dungy, the cult super fan who dresses as the famous coach during games. In January, I was talking to Tony Walker, played for the Colts. Number 92. So I make the decals on my computer. He suggested Bostic turn a hidden artistic genius towards sports figurines. He's like, there's a demand for them. In the 90s, starting lineup figurines were immensely popular. Come the 2000s, it was the McFarland figures fans had to have. I think they stopped making them in 2015. Starting lineup ended after the turn of the century. You can't get a Jonathan Taylor McFarland figure because they don't exist. And that's where I come into play. Turning these old figures. Yeah, I sculpt that hair. Into modern day local heroes. Take the figure and actually boil it on my stove. Releasing the glue from the parts. And you can move heads around and change limbs. Actually, However, it's Taylor that attention to detail. If you're going to do a Steve Alford, that makes the difference. You have to have the red Adidas top 10 shoes. He even does movie characters. I sculpted all of the freight movie. Like Teen Wolf. Once it's apart, then I will spray prime it all white. Hand painting each element right down. Carson Wentz has a beard. To the final touch. So I would paint that on. You see, as it turns out. Yeah, I've sold quite a few through social media. Tony Walker was right. There is a demand, not only from fans, but players alike. I was able to share my uh, figure this summer with Isaiah Rogers, who's a current Colt. In if sports art form interests you, Mike Bosick suggests looking for figurines on eBay and in antique stores.